In 2014, Michael Phelps' comeback was on, but for the first time in his lengthy career, he was without a suit sponsor, most notably Speedo. Instead of going around looking for a new suit sponsor, he decided to take things in his own hand and find a company that would be willing to launch a line with his brand. And Aquasphere seemed like a perfect fit. They were a brand well known in the swimming community, but had never released a tech suit. The collaboration started almost immediately. By 2015, we had the first range of Michael Phelps' product as an underbanner to the Aquasphere branding. Launched with plenty of time before the Rio Olympics, where Phelps would make his big comeback, winning many gold medals, the MP Espresso Jammer and the skin was consequently released. Having been on the market three years now, I'm not sure how I feel about the success of the MP Jammer. I see it around, but it never got the market penetration of brands like Arena and Speedo, even with the big Michael Phelps' name attached to it. The Jammer comes in four colors. This is the most downplayed of the four with just this minimalistic gray accent on it and a generally black design. It's actually launched at 200 British pounds. Uh, since then, it has seen some price decreases. This specific color can be found as cheap as 149 pound 99 from Pro Swimmer in the UK. Although you still have to pay a little bit more if you want to get a bit more funky. The suit is made up of two different materials. We have the exofoil material, which is a composition of both polyamide and elastane. Actually with 56% polyamide, 44% elastane. And then we have this small sort of silvery gray strips of their aqua core material. Because elastane is the least comfortable material, the lining is a much more polyamide based composition. So it's comfortable on your skin inside, whereas being optimal for the water outside. If we take a closer look, we can see the differences between the materials. And the aqua core, you can see almost as these shark patterns on which reminds me of that original far skin one design with the shark skin they call this a 3d material that moves with your muscles and it's all about being very flexible and comfortable allowing a range of movement while swimming i think from michael phelps said he really wanted to achieve with the suit we then have this aqua core material which is this gray area here and this is a much stiffer material which apparently adds compression and allows better circulation of blood. This seems like a steep claim considering how little of this material was used. As we can see, it's just this, this, this little area here. On the back, absolutely none of it. Okay, so it's all great how they, they, they advertise two different types of material used, but in reality, the majority of this suit is this exofoil. And we just have this little strip of aquacore here. What it may do is when you stretch, um, keep things rigid from here because this, this material stretches less than this. But in reality, I doubt it's doing all that much difference. And I think it's more marketing blurb than performance related. Well, I will give this suit some credit. It's that it actually has a very, very unique feel to it. And it doesn't feel like it's just copied the material from another more popular tech suit. It really is its own unique entity and there's nothing quite like it. Running your finger along it, you can actually feel the ridges of the of these little shark or scowls upon its surface, almost like the uh, the frictiony back from the Mizunos, but again, similar in terms of it as texture, but completely different in terms of material and feel. We will quickly test the water repellency. Um, unfortunately, I'm not shooting in the pool today, so I'm just gonna pour some water over the suit. Um, I, I wasn't meant to shoot at the pool, but I forgot my mic and lens. So uh, we'll start off with a little bit of water. As you can see, the water is just pooling on the suit. So there's absolutely no absorption going on there. Um, it's pretty incredible, really. So this is a very, very hydrophobic suit. And now we should just be able to pour the water off just like that. I'm feeling it. There's a little bit of dampness to the suit. It did absorb a little bit, but the majority of that just, just poured off. And even when I've submerged this suit, it gets out pretty dry. If you was to purchase this suit, my first bit of advice would be to get a size bigger than you normally get in a racing suit. You're probably looking at this thinking it fits pretty well. And you might be surprised to find out that this is a size 32 suit. 
in a carbon air i'd wear 26 in a carbon ultra i wear 28 in a speedo laser i'd wear 26 so generally this is a lot bigger than i normally get i would say i could probably get in a size 30 this is slightly too big in certain areas you can see a little bit of crease in here um it, I didn't get this suit from brand new. This was supplied to me by a friend. Uh, if I was to purchase one, I would definitely go one size smaller. That being said, size 30 is still the size up or two sizes up to what I'd normally race in. Things I certainly do like about this suit are the design. I think these look really cool, especially in some of their more leery patterns. I also like the range of movement. If you're someone that finds suits like the Arena Carbon Pro way too tight and compressing, this suit will suit you just perfectly. Even in the right size, you feel great freedom of movement. It doesn't leave you feeling restricted. It feels like you can breathe a little bit. For that being said, for someone who specializes in sprints like myself, I didn't feel like this was getting the job done in any way. It doesn't compress much at all. These panels here, I don't feel extra compression where they are. I don't feel generally any compression in the suit itself so as i said i don't really get the more compressive aqua core material here i don't get its purpose in the slightest Take in other my... suits when they have special Take... gimmicks like on like the taping on suits like the carbon flex or the mizuno gx3 i understand what the taping's doing i can understand the principles behind it and i can feel the benefits in here i cannot feel the benefit of this area here compared to this area here and this suit this this material here just feels loose and unrestrictive but not not so it's going to give you the clinical edge in a race the fit is pretty standard it fits perfectly where i want a suit on my knees it's Again, perfectly round your, your, your hips, if you like that lower waist cut, without getting too much. It doesn't sit on my hip bones awkwardly like the Finney's Vapor, and it doesn't come up high like the high-waisted suits. So the cut is spot on. As I said, this is a size 32, and I wouldn't want any less coverage. It really does sit on me perfect. We've already demonstrated it as water repellent, and I think if you want a water repellent race suit that's gonna have great, great range of motion, then you might enjoy this. But at the top level, I don't think it gives buoyancy as much as other suits and it definitely doesn't provide compression and I'm someone who really likes a suit that's going to have high levels of that in the right places but not not like not like this I'd say this doesn't have it in any places definitely not the right places in all fairness to Michael Phelps and Aquasphere this was their first suit released and it is now starting to get a bit dated as it was released as i said back in 2015 so potentially they have a new model coming out that might have a little bit more innovation it also can't be that bad a suit because you've seen people like alice and schmidt and michael phelps wear it to great successes in the rio olympics Being said i definitely think your money can be spent better in other places i think if you want a suit that has better range of movement but still the right amount of compression i think the finney's rival does a great job and if you want ultimate compression well then you know my take would always be the mizuno as of right now that's all for today a little bit of a quicker video please do like the video comment if you've got any questions or suits you would like reviewed and subscribe the, the channel is growing slowly but if you could share it amongst your friends in the swimming community that would do a great deal helping out me going forwards i've got some cool suits ordered i've got the new mizuno gx sonic 4 and also a cheaper mizuno suit you know i love mizuno and i've also got some more equipment reviews coming such as the arena mesh paddles snorkel pro and power fins pro so stay tuned for that shortly thanks again for watching i'll see you later